Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. After a crazy day yesterday with the Premier League Tots guaranteed SBC causing a lot of movements on the market, and Premier League Tots cards actually are rising in price a lot right now after that SBC has come out, I want to take a look at what's actually next. We have seen some leaks throughout this week for Bundesliga Team of the Season, and we had a few more yesterday, and I expect a few more today on Thursday. So I want to take a look through the leaks that we have, and there's a common theme here from EA Sports. They're juicing the cards. These Bundesliga Team of the Season items look crack. So I want to take a look through those. Again, we don't have the entire team yet. We just have about half of the team. Um, but some of these cards look really, really good. I also want to continue to take a look at the market after that cheaper than expected Bundesliga Tots, or sorry, Premier League team of the season guaranteed pack yesterday, only requiring an 86 squad. And it was like a hundred thousand coins. So as long as you didn't pack Bruno, Rodri, or Declan Rice, or Allison, which I know a lot of you guys probably did. Uh, but still, that was a pretty good value gamble SBC, which of course, basically everybody did. And after that, a lot of people who didn't pack the cards they wanted, of course, went running to the market to buy those cards. And that's why we're seeing a lot of Premier League Tots up in price. So I want to take a look at that and what content we might see today on Thursday. Hopefully, we should be getting that Kulusevsky, the last Prem Tots SBC as we transition into, into Bundesliga team of the season. So we're going to talk about all about that in today's video and more. So if you're excited for Bundesliga Tots because of how these leaks look, make sure to thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start at the top with these leaks and what we've seen so far. Of course, a couple of these players we've already looked at on the channel, you might have already seen. We're going to scroll through all of them just here really quick. Of course, starting off earlier this week on, I think it was Monday, they leaked Jude Bellingham, Club 90, all 90 stats. Again, for every single one of these stats, this is expected, but of course, as EA have been doing, they sometimes have upgraded just like they did with Community Tots or downgraded like they did last week with Prem Tots. So these stats might not be final or official just yet, but if these are the stats that drop on a Jude Bellium card, uh, that's insane. Also notice that 96 rated, that's like a really high like overall rating for this card as well. Moving up the list, of course, this is the Kulusevsky that we hope to see today on Thursday. He was leaked as an SBC, has not dropped yet. This is our next leak that we've seen and talked about. Lewandowski, again, 98 rated. That's like one of the highest rated Tots cards released so far in Team of the Season. Also projected a five-star weak foot, right? And this is also a common theme with these cards getting released. Alfonso Davies, a five-star skill move boost. So it seems like for Bundesliga Tots, they're going all out with the stat boosts and with the skill move and weak foot upgrades as well, which is awesome. You see Davies here. I really wish he was going to hit the 90 defense and the 90 physical category, but still, that card's going to be incredible. Davies is always cracked in FIFA, and his team of the season card last year was cracked as well. Now, now we're getting to some of the newer ones. Erling Holland, his probably last Dortmund card, as we, as we mentioned, right? 96 pace, 98 shooting, 90 dribbling. If they give him four star, four star, this card would be nice. I think he needs the four four to be semi usable at this stage of the game. So hopefully they do kind of like a Suarez boost on this card. Maybe even give him a five star weak foot. Five star skills would be like crazy. So I don't know if he really deserves that, but it'd be fun for a FIFA card. But at least four four would make this Holland um, a bit special. Now moving on to the newer ones, Florian Verts. Either these are expected stats. I mean. As you're going to see, some of these midfielders are pretty cracked. Like, we already saw Jude. He looked nuts. Florian Verts is getting into team in the season. 93 pace, 97 dribble, 95 passing. A lot of people really loved his Future Stars item that was out earlier this year. Um, and I think people are going to like this card, too. It's probably going to be pretty cheap, um, but it'll be a pretty solid card. I believe he is 4-star, four 4-star. Four um, let me double-check that, though, because I think there was something about his card that was upgraded in one of these... Yeah, no, he's 4-star, four 4-star. Four His base is 4-4 four four as well. So maybe if they're going all out with it, maybe they'd give him like a 5-star weak foot or 5-star skills to spice his car up, card up a little bit more as well. Moving on, another big player, Frimpong. This one is one that people were very, very excited about. 91 rated from Pong. Again, those card stats, I mean, imagine even playing this guy at center back. That's a little bit ratty, right? But people were hoping that from Pong would get into Bundesliga team of the season, and he is. 99 pace, though, is the key stat there. It looks really, really cracked, of course. Links to Hinkape, um, and he does link to the card that we just looked at as well, Florian Verts, with those Leverkusen links. So that's a pretty special card right there. And then one of the last ones that we had leaked was Indica. And I mean, Chad, 
I just said chat again. You guys are not the chat. You're the YouTube. I keep saying that. I'm used to saying it. it's not good. Anyways, this is like three videos in a row. I got to stop. Anyways, 91 pace, 92 defense, 92 physical for Indica, 90 dribbling, and 85 passing as well. This card looks absolutely disgusting. That is a crazy center back card. And he had earlier in the year, was it a future stars? Yes. He had a future stars as well. Um, and this people really, really love this card. He's got the high, the medium high work rates. He is six foot four high and average body type. And he just has really good stats and plays really well in game. I mean, this, this stat boost on the Indica card looks unbelievable. So those are, I think we have one more leak. I think I missed one. It was on uh, Mitch's profile. Oh my gosh. How could I forget these? All right. Just a second. You didn't see those cards yet. One second. Thomas Muller. Here's another big leak. Nice card here for Thomas Muller. Uh, really big pace boost. He had 90 pace earlier this year on his flashback um, card. This one's got 91 pace, but a huge shooting boost. 94 shooting, 91 passing. Some people really loved his Tots item from last year. Hopefully the card this year is cracked. And then these are two big ones. I can't believe I even forgot about these. Kimmich, 97 rated. Look at the pace boost on this card. I know some people aren't happy with how Kimmich has been playing and his Kimmich's cards throughout the year have just been okay and they've really fallen behind the, behind the curve now but this is an item that would put Kimmich right back up there with some of the best center defensive mids in this game the one interesting thing about him is he has really high acceleration and really low sprint speed but he's a Conte-esque card and I remember using his team of the year item last year in FIBA 21, it was so good. I can imagine that this card is going to be just as good. 88 pace, 97 passing, 93 dribbling, 95 defense, 93 physical. Again, you could put him and Lam in your midfield and be set, right? This card would be an absolute demon at CDM. Great, great, great card. And then this is the one that everybody's excited about. Look at this boost on Nkunku. Absolutely deserved, by the way. 96 center forward. These are the expected stats and confirmed stats, unless EA changed them, for Nkunku. 94 pace, 98 dribble, 97 passing. I mean, this card is almost like we talked about with Jude uh, Bellingham. He's almost nine golden gang, where he has 90 stats in every single part of his card. 87 defense and 87 physical. The thing that this card needs is a four-star weak foot boost and a high medium attacking work rate change. So from high, he right now he's medium, medium. Every single card that he's had this year has been medium, medium. If EA makes this dude, since they're making him a center forward, high, medium, and they make him four star, four star, this would be an absolute menace of a card on this game. And I really think that this card would cost somewhere between one to 1.5 million coins as we get throughout this next week because everybody's gonna wanna try and cuckoo, especially if they give him that boost. Now, if the work rates don't change, and if they don't give him a weak foot upgrade, which they should, I think he deserves one in this game. Um, but those are the things that are really riding in the balance in this card. But statistically, this card is going to be unfreaking believable. So that's probably the most hype card that is coming to Bonus League of Tots right now. And again, this just reinforces, look at all in at these cards. Th these cards are going to be cracked. The, the overalls are extremely high. The stats on the card are extremely high. And all it really comes down to is a couple work rate changes and um, the weak foot or skill move boost. And those cards are going to be incredible. And if you think about it, it makes sense from EA's point of view as well. You would want to keep people engaged in the game. They did this with Bundesliga Tots last year, right? We're coming off of a week of Prem Tots where everybody is super duper hyped with these Premier League Tots cards, right? But now what EA is trying to do is give you another reason to be hyped about another league of team of the season items. So it makes sense that they're juicing them up this much and giving them these insane stats. Again, it just that's how EA would want to keep their audience intrigued and interested. And boy, oh boy, they're keeping me interested with seeing those leaked stats. So we'll probably see more players leak today. Again, that's only part of the team. There's going to be a total of 15 TOTS cards out, just like there is every single week out of all the TOTS releases. So those are all the cards that we have right now. Again, let me know down in the comments what you think, because I think those cards look really, really freaking good. So GG's to EA Sports. Bundesliga TOTS. It's, it's got the kids all hyped for Friday, in my opinion, with stats like that. Now, of course, yesterday, moving on from uh, into the content that's going on in this game at the moment and with the market, yesterday, like we talked about, was all about the Premier League Tots Guaranteed Pack. Coming in an 86-rated squad, it was dirt cheap. It was like 100,000 coins. 
and everybody went out and did it right now also what happened yesterday is everybody went out and they did the sbc so they packed a lot of the lower tier cards because you guys know right we talked about it in the video yesterday too what's going to be popping from this sbc a lot of bernardos were popping a lot of declan rices a lot of bruno fernandez those lower tier cards were popping the most from this sbc so what you saw was a lot of people packed a Bernardo, they packed a Ruben Diaz, or they packed a Trent Alexander-Arnold, and these cards took a very sharp dive right away yesterday at content. Bruno, for, uh, or Bernardo, for example, was 170,000 coins, dove all the way down, and this is not accurate, right? He was down and showing at 149. He was actually about 135. All of these cards just, especially the low-tier cards, the high-tier ones didn't move that much, but Trent, Jota, like Jota went from 205 down to 165 in like 20 minutes and then shot right back up to 190 where he is right now in about an hour's time after that. So there was a bunch of people that either panic sold cards or they packed the version untradeable of the card they already had in their club tradable. So they sold the one they already had that was tradable and then they had the untradable version. So a little bit of supply yesterday and also we had lightning rounds yesterday. So you combine all of that hype and panic for a brand new SBC like the Premier League Tots pack and you combine that in with some fresh supply from lightning rounds and a lot of these cards dipped in that first 10, 15, 20 minutes after the SBC was released and then a lot of them shot back up in price. Now for the upper tier cards like Sun, De Bruyne, Ronaldo, Salah, those cards didn't really take that much of a dive. They were maybe maintaining their price and then they just absolutely shot up you can see for money right he was 3.1 mil the spc comes out and pretty much in two or three hours he's 3.3 million coins as people know that those guaranteed tots days is when they go out and they buy a lot of the cards for their team so a lot of people have bought premier league tots cards and you know i think some of these cards are going to continue to rise up a little bit into the weekend Again, seeing all the crazy leaks that we have for these Bundesliga Team of the Season items, will these Prem Tots prices last? I'm a little bit scared for some of the upper tier cards, maybe Salah, Ronaldo, Mane, and Son. And like I mentioned, if you want to play Weekend League with these guys, that's fine and that's great. And if you're buying cards for your team, I think that's completely fine. Have fun. Use the cards that you want to use. But just be aware that every single week that we get more and more Tots cards, that are insane with great stats like we're going to get this weekend with Bundesliga. And we talked about this yesterday too. These Prem Tots cards are 100% going to drop in value. It's already happened with the Community Tots cards. And it's just it's just going to happen because EA is pushing out more and more insane cards. The SBCs are going to keep running. And every single week, there's going to be people that look at the brand new Tots cards and say, man, I want to sell the Salah and the Mane that I've been using this weekend to try out a brand new Nkunku and Jude Bellingham, right? You're going to have people that want to try the brand new and fresh cards in this game. So that's all I'm saying is have fun, use the cards that you want to use. And if you lose a few coins, who cares? But if you bought these cards yesterday or, you know, honestly, yesterday or Tuesday, were kind of the best days. Some of the cards like, you know, Hyunmin Sun is now 800,000 coins. He was 700,000 coins. I believe it was like Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, like early morning, or maybe it was Wednesday early morning. So he is up a lot as a lot of people have run out and bought his card. Van Dyke is up. Cancelo's over a million coins. So again, just use whatever you value most. If you don't want to lose coins, then just be careful with some of those cards. Um, and just know that the, over the next week or two, even if you bought them for your team and stuff, you're probably going to see a few drops in price just because that's how this game worked. But there was a lot of people buying up cards when they saw prices go really, really low, myself included. I bought a bunch of Ruben Diaz. Um, I think he's like 230 right now. Yeah, Ruben Diaz is like 229. I bought a bunch of them at like 205 to 209 um, in the big drop in price that we had yesterday. So I have a lot of those on my transfer list at the moment. Just honestly, my transfer list is chuck full of cards you can see here 209 for ruben diaz 208 207 a lot of these in in the high 20s just under 210 a couple of them i think i paid 210 for but i've got so many tots cards right now that i'm just trying to trade with and make a quick buck because we've been doing so many upgrade packs and spending so many coins on those that we got to try to make some coins back somehow so these prem tots cards i think today on on thursday they might have a little bit of a drop um you know around content because of marquee matchup supply but i really think that today's content on thursday is going to be a bit of a slow one i think that we're going to get that kuluzevsky sbc that we've been waiting on and that we haven't seen yet that everybody's kind of 
I guess that's our last leaked SBC that we haven't gotten yet. And I think that it, it, it might really be a quiet day today on Thursday. Last Thursday, I believe, was pretty quiet. None of the upgrade packs are re-upping uh, the 84 plus player pick and the 83 plus times five. Premier League SBCs are not like refreshing at all today on Thursday. They're just go uh, going away tomorrow on Friday. So today just might be a catch up day. And it makes sense because EA has released a lot of content. They know people need to go out and qualify for weekend league, get objectives done, stuff like that. So that might be what this day is a bit of a slower day in terms of the content grind. And maybe a little bit more just of a, of a catch-up day. Maybe you play your Premier League Cup matches, whatever it might be, finish objective, stuff like that. So oftentimes Thursdays are like that. EA could still release some sort of gamble pack SBC today, like an 85 plus or an 86 plus double upgrade, something like that to try to drain a few coins and to get people to spend fodder on an upgrade pack um, SBC. But for me, what it's really gonna be is the last full day, the last continuation of spamming the upgrade packs, rinsing, trying to pack, the best cards that we possibly can get. I did pack Bernardo yesterday out of my guaranteed. I was like a lot of people yesterday packing that card. Um, and, you know, that's... It, it, that, those were the duplicates that we added, right? I packed Bernardo Silva from a player pick, then packed it for my guarantee. Nothing super duper crazy there on my account. So we're just still grinding the upgrade packs. Finished Vieira, finished Phil Foden, which, by the way, a couple really weird announcements from EA Sports. Uh, they changed Phil Foden's stats... They tweeted this out a couple hours ago. Earlier in the week, Phil Foden's TOTS player item was released with lower than intended attributes. We've since increased the item's composure and reactions as uh, shown in game. So Phil Foden got a composure and a reactions upgrade on his SBC item because they were lower than his... Uh, it's, it still shows on Flippin as this way. His... Uh, where is it? Yeah, composure on the, 90, on the 89 rated card was actually higher than the team of the year honorable mentions it was higher on the team of the year honorable mentions card but lower on the tots item so you know my joke here and i retweeted this and said hey just just give the card plus twos in every stat while you're doing this just such a random tweet right but speaking of ea tweets we still have not gotten any news about the foot champions finals and i think if you go in game right now and take a look at the foot champs rewards uh system which i need to back out of this by the way, has anybody just stopped playing Rivals because I have so much to do with, you know, building packs and stuff. I'm not even playing Rivals and playing Weekend League. It's, it's worth it, right? For the red picks and stuff. They have not fixed Foot Champ rewards. And of course, today is Thursday. They got to get this figured out before tomorrow and Friday when Foot Champs would start. So this is kind of a big situation. I'm going to keep an eye on this because rewards are not upgraded yet. And EA have not said what they're going to do. We thought about it a little bit more today and we were talking about it on stream and with the chat and... I think the biggest consensus that we've come to is that maybe we would see them give out like an extra red player pick or an extra set of rewards. We had that happen two years ago in FIFA 20 La Liga team of the season, but it was kind of like a one-off thing. So I don't know if they're going to do that. We'll have to see uh, what they end up doing. Now, talking about Bundesliga special cards for a second, I know some of you guys have invested in some of these out-of-packs Bundesliga items for a rise as we get towards Bundesliga team of the season. Some of them I think will go higher over the weekend. I think this Hinkape card, which I've picked up a lot of, he's up to 50,000 coins at the moment. I mean, I'm tempted to sell mine in the hype and take the safe cash because I'm making about 20, 25K a card on these right now. Um, yeah, seriously, 20. it's about 25K a card actually. I got these really, really low. No, it's not. It's about 20K a card. Anyways, um, this guy is up a lot. Serge Nabry team of the season is up a lot. The Marco Royce foot captain's card has been rising. People are investing in this. If you want to take the safe cash, you can um, and do the no risk selling the hype. Wow, Marco Royce is 180s. He was 160 yesterday. So yes, it looks like Bundesliga Tots cards are cracked and people might want to build them into their teams. But also you have to realize that some of the Bundesliga Tots cards coming out are going to be pretty cheap and that might affect some prices as well. So just kind of keep an eye on the market, but a lot of prices have bounced back from the lows that we saw earlier in the week. Like Pedri was 630k and now he's back to over 700,000 coins. Um just looking through some of these other I bought two Awaras yesterday at 530, sold them at 600,000 coins. So there the market has more life, if you will. There's a lot more cards that are moving and if I take a quick scroll through maybe um some of the out of pack special cards really fast and look up a couple prices that have bounced back. Suarez is back over 900k. Fred is up. I mean, if you if you just take a look through 
a lot of the out of packs cards in this game right now, even like Lacazette. Some of your Premier League cards maybe went up yesterday, like we mentioned in last night's video as well. Um, with the hype of the Premier League people building some teams with Prem cards, getting their guaranteed Prem Tots SBC open. So you've seen a couple of these cards bounce back. GG's if you traded with any of that. But again, what I would mention is just be very, very careful holding on to these cards that are Premier League items too much longer because that hype is going to shift here pretty soon to the Bundesliga. And I think that's going to drop some prices on the Premier League side of things. So that's kind of what's going on in the game right now. I think that yesterday was a cool day with the Premier League tots. There's a lot of market movements. A lot of people bought cards for their teams. And then today on Thursday, it's just all going to be about that Kulusevsky SBC. It is EA having last SBCs to give us last chance at opening upgrade packs uh, to pack these Premier League team of the season cards and just preparation for Bundesliga. And hopefully uh, that can all go down well today on this game. I don't think I don't expect any crazy movements on the market if I'm being completely honest. I'm just going to sell some of these blues, take the money. Um, and, you know, actually, I'll probably wait to sell some of these over the weekend as well because as these cards go out of packs, Premier League is the most hyped league for a lot of people. So you still might see some Premier League Tots cards rise up a bit into this weekend. So again, Kulusevsky today. Don't know what else we're going to get. Probably some lightning rounds and marquee matchups. Wouldn't expect too much else other than that. We'll see if EA have any uh, twists they can throw in in our Thursday. Good luck with your Rivals rewards if you're opening those. Hopefully you uh, pack some blues and tradable or something like, you know, good, good fodder at least to craft some SBCs on this game or send some last couple upgrade packs. Best luck. Best of luck doing those. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Vote Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace.